Previously on Mirrored Board Games. We're lost and drunk. Go, because it's your turn. Ooh. One, two, oh, three. Oh, he's taking oh, a I, short Oh, time. you just put yourself in jail. Like a dope wad. Yeah. FYI, never taking a shortcut right here. FYI, never <laughs> taking a cape date. <laughs> never. Winter is coming. And we here on Beer and Board Games always pay our debts, which is why we're playing Game of Thrones, the card game. We'd like to thank Judy Collins for giving us Game of Thrones, the card game. Thanks, Judy. She Thanks, Judy. How's about a beer, governor? <laughs> What is the beer that we're having right now? I asked you a question. <laughs> Here we go, Tony. This evening we're drinking a wee heavy scotch ale. And it has boasts a deep copper that gives way to a rich full mouth feed oh with you bold malt that? flavor. Mouth feed is not a thing. Let's see if it lives up to the rich bold mouth feel we've all come to expect. It's got a very light aroma. Ooh, very oh. malty. It's like a malt explosion. It's like a malted milk ball without chocolate. We have a request to insult Christian Hensley. He's a 19-year-old nursing student. Watching beer and board games is how he avoids doing his homework. Hope I never end up in a hospital where you're working, my friend. I hope you get transferred to that scary Lars von Trier hospital where all the spooky things happen. The Kingdom? Kingdom Hospital? Anybody with me? Nothing? Nothing at all. Shit. <laughs> I think you need to join a convent, become Sister Christian, and then Steve Perry's song will be really funny. <laughs> I never understood that song. It's about a nun. Yeah. It's about a nun who does something bad. Why is she motoring? You're motoring! Yeah. It's about a girl that goes to Catholic school who gives in to having sex with people. In a car? Why sure. is she motoring? Or cruising. That, that's what it is. Why would he say motoring? That's such a weird, old-fashioned way to... Because <laughs> driving doesn't fit the Cause meter. Because you're driving! <laughs> Turn it down. That works. Motor. Driving. I Just... like motoring. Well, you would. You talk like an old-timer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brad, take us to Westeros and show us around. We have to decide who's which house. Right. So we have the Targaryens, we have the Lannisters... The Baratheons. The Baratheons and the Starks. If one is the Targaryens, do you get dragons? I believe there are some dragon cards, yes. I would like to be the Targaryens. Excellent. Here is your main deck. This is a surprisingly complex card game. You don't know what the hell to do because there's so many repercussions. One to two of us will die this evening. So right now, Aaron can play up to five golds worth of stuff from his setup hand. I'm playing Grandmeister Pie Cell. That guy's an asshole. He is. With his long beard. And his little naked body that hops around after sex. <laughs> I'm spending my last two Lannister gold on the Golden Tooth Mines. Excuse me? Each time I reveal a plot card, I get to draw a card. By the way, I will not be paying any of my debts this game. You Going have to. Against the Lannister tradition. You're a rogue Lannister. I'm going to play Bones of a Child, because I like to get freaky. Sorry, you can't. Uh, that's an item. <laughs> you can only play lands and people this Fucking round. Fucking shit. All right, well, hell with it. I'm going to play this dragon, <laughs> Vizirian. Be pronounced by Pay them. four gold to choose and kill a kneeling character. I'm gonna kill Pizel, the no. bearded naked man. Don't, don't kill things. him. You don't have four gold, you just paid four gold. Yeah. You have one gold left. You have left. one gold left. Oh, God, Brad. Ah. <laughs> you have one gold left. So I can left. do that later, though. Yes, you can. All right, so I got a circle and dragon. Better watch out. I'm gonna play Robert Baratheon. I'm gonna go with Northern Fiefdom. Why don't All you right. go back to your little dogs, Stark? He's gonna abuse your daughter. And threaten her with a crossbow. Yeah, that's fine. It may not have seemed like I did much, but I got a dragon. He's got an old man. He's got a keep. He's got a, a fat dead king. Dragon. We've now begun the plot phase. This is where we plot against each other. My dragon is going to kill your old man, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yep. Only a kneeling character, though. What if Grandmaster Pycelle is not kneeling? He will kneel before Targaryen. Random. I can play three things. Yeah, we're, so right now we're in the marshalling phase. I'm going to play uh, Ice, the Sword of Terror. We will stop, collaborate, and listen to you as you do that. One more, right? I'm going to play my keep. 
When attacked, character is participating in a challenge. Kneel and discard ice from play. Cannot be saved. To choose and kill another participating character. Ooh. So I get to discard it, but I get to kill, I presume, I hope, one of you guys. Are you talking to your future self again? No, I'm talking to the audience. I don't know what this means. This is this is not my gold. No, that's your bank. It's like Monopoly. Uh, it's like the Monopoly it. I got bank. It. I got it. Yeah. Whose idea was this? Was it your idea? It was your idea. You pushed it. Let's. You let's... pushed it. I was against it at first because I was like, it's too complex. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, we'll play the game you can't pin this game. on me. Oh, it's pinned. I'm not Pinterest. <laughs> oh yeah, you're the Pinterest board of guilt and responsibility. What you're saying is bullshit. A. And two, <laughs> let's keep playing the game. Yeah, you're not going to like this, Matt. I'm throwing down with Tyrion Lannister. A little tiny himself. And I'm playing Gilded Plate Armor on Grand Meister Pycelle. Oh, metal armor. That will totally protect me from burning fucking flames of a dragon breath. You attack me. You're going we'll to boil inside that armor like a shrimp. And I'm going to peel you apart. I'm speaking as a dragon now. I'm going to peel you apart and I'm just going to eat your cooked remains. Oh, I'm not scared of you. I'm speaking as Grandmaster Pycelle now. Oh, that doesn't hurt. I have armor on. Fuck you. Oh, apparently the laws of physics in Westeros don't fucking apply. <laughs> so I'm banking this four gold. This is my maester killing money. That's great. I'm coming after you. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> I've... I'm very powerful. You're just a dragon. Eat your heart out, D&D monster man. <laughs> it says marshalling. That means you can only use this ability during the marshalling oh. phase, which is now. There are certain cards that you can only play during the Marshall Mathers phase, like lock your wife in a trunk. That's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're done with marshalling, everyone. <laughs> Thank God. Now it's challenges. I'm going to go after the old guy. What? That's Matt's goal. No, if he does it, I'm fine with it. You can't all have the same <laughs> fucking goal. Your maester is going down. Yeah, Just accept right. it. He's got armor. Are you bringing it or not? I am. He brought it. Why is it taking so long? I don't know. Because this number is one in a military attack, he has to kill a character now. I'm going to pay one gold and discard Gilded Plate from play to save attached character from being killed or discarded. All right. You got a power token. Basically, whoever has the most of these power tokens at the end of the game is going to win tonight. I would like to toast Samuel Houdon. His birthday is on March 24th. Hey, that's my birthday. And he would like it if Cody and or Hal from Fun Rangers would also toast to it. Okay, well, here is to Samuel. Samuel Houdon. I really like Samuel Houdon. He really gives it good when the going's rough. Oh. Hi, Samuel. I hope you have a good birthday that's full of grease and pigs, feet, and mud, honey. Mud, honey, the grunge band? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a recommendation for you for your turn. Have Maester Pazel kneel. <laughs> I will not kneel Grand Maester <clears throat> Pazel oh. for obvious reasons. You can choose somebody to kill that's kneeling. Can I just kill Tyrion Lannister right now? I got yes, four you, gold. Yes, you can. I will kill him? <laughs> That's worth it. Wow. Four gold. You are... Die, dwarf! You kill the dwarf. Suck it, Dinklage! I'm not dead. You killed Tyrion Lannister. I killed the I drink your milkshake. You killed... <laughs> I killed your dwarf. I'm going to attack Matt. Why are you attacking me? Why well, do you attack him? He's the one we're all ganging up on. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail Zardine Smith has an insult for Randy Phillips. He is a cock waffle. <laughs> so she's started off the round of insults with a bang there. What a cock waffle! Cock waffle, now that's a B 52 song. Cock waffle! <laughs> down, down! <laughs> I got <laughs> me a penis, it's square! Cock waffle! Cock waffle! Come on, <laughs> Going to a brunch! Da da da! There's the buffet! Uh, on the buffet, on the buffet, was a cock waffle. Cock waffle. <laughs> cock waffle. Put my penis in a hot iron. Tin <laughs> cock waffled. waffled. Now right. it's the stand phase. Everyone stand in the place where you live. Now face Westeros.
<laughs> Think about Yay. the Lannisters, wonder why they have so much gold. Stand. And then taxation, so if anyone has any gold, you put it back in the bank, and this guy stands up. Yeah. That was one turn. You were really dominant towards me. Yes. I was really turned on. Yes. Old man. Look at my life. I'm a lot like Hodor. <laughs> Hodor, Hodor at my life. I'm a lot <laughs> like, like Hodor. Grandmaster Pycelle, who was uh, listed as an enemy to all mankind at the beginning of this game, not touched. You got fucking armor blown off yeah, you by an shit. attack. Well, True. so what? That's Crunch. touched. He That's wasn't touched. touched. The armor was, but not blood. the Meister. Okay, I have initiative. Will you be able to kill Grand Maester Paisel? I don't think so. You uh, have to. You have to kill yes, Maester yes. Paisel. I'll try. I'll try. Uh, I'm going to play Stannis' Northern Cavalry and Edric Storm. Is there a game where you could just roll a dice and move a thing? Yeah, it's called Bonkers. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> I'm going to attack you with influence. With an influence. I only have a two. I have a six. So I gain two power for that. After I win an influence challenge by more than four total strength, I get to do another one. So I'm going to attack with Robert Baratheon as an influence. Me? Damn it. Oh, I also get... That's right, I get to steal this off What? Your thing. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's what? What? Make you roll No, and that's what it is. I get to steal it off of your thing. T-H-I-N-G. That did not happen in the game we played before. That's because we never had any stuff on the, on the banner. You can kneel Sansa, yeah. and then you can kill a character. I think anywhere on the board. I'll kill, uh, I'll... <laughs> you want me to kill the old man? Please. Don't you, you want kill to kill any the old character man? that you want? I just want the old man to die. I don't care if it's me or if it's you. Okay, all right, all right. Maester Pycelle does need to die. I am killing the old man. Yes! <laughs> the Meister is dead in the ground. The daisies are growing up through his eye sockets. He's dead. And who would have thought that Sansa Stark would have killed him? I mean, look at her. I think she's cute. I might ask her to babysit, not to kill my grandfather. I'm a lot like Hodor.